Happy New Year, YouTube. Hope it's a good one for you. Let's get this thing rolling. Good morning, YouTube. Big Poppy coming at you. Today is New Year's Eve. Tomorrow is New Year's. And so, you know, it's also the second to the last day of Kwanzaa. I know some of y'all, there you go, talking about Kwanzaa. But yeah, I'm going to talk just about Kwanzaa. I do observe Kwanzaa. I observe Christmas, Easter, New Year's. I, I, uh, Hanukkah, I, I, I celebrate all of them because my ancestors are a part of all of them. And that's what Kwanzaa is about. It's about a time of reflection on family, friends, and the ancestors. So today, I'm gonna cook me some pig feet. And you say, well, what that got to do with Kwanzaa? Well, that's what my ancestors had to eat. Those of you may know. They ate what was left off the hog. They gave us the trotters. And the, the chitlins from the hogs and the hog maws. And the hog head. Where you get hog head cheese. So... We ate everything off the hog, from the rooter to the tutor. <coughs> I don't eat this all the time, but I eat it once a year, at least once a year. I eat it on New Year's Day in honor of my ancestors, those that I don't know their names, but I thank them for their toughness, their endurance, their prayers, and in some cases, even their sacrifice, so I can be who I am today. <clears throat> in this bowl, I have two bouillons of chicken, um, well, two chicken bouillons. I have some better than bouillon that I'm pouring in there because I'm trying to get rid of all this little stuff that I had. In this bowl, I have one large onion, bell pepper, celery, and five serrano peppers. Yeah, five serrano peppers because, like I said, don't too many people eat this stuff in my family, uh, but they don't stop Big Poppy from enjoying himself. So I'm going to make it where Big Poppy can eat it. If anybody else want to try it, they can try it. All right, that's going in there. <coughs> Excuse me. I have onion powder. It looked like it's about, oh, two and a half, maybe three tablespoons in there. We're going to get rid of all of that. I have my sweet basil, citrus, and garlic rub. We're just going to dump a lot of that in there. Oh, yeah. Like I said, Big Poppy making this to his taste. Mm-hmm. I already had some black pepper in there, but I'm going to put some more in. Because I felt like I was a little short. So we're going to put some ground black pepper in. That's enough. All right. Then we're going to drop in. Some smoked paprika. Yeah, I put this stuff just about in everything. I don't know how much. That's about three tablespoons. That ought to do it for me. <coughs> Excuse me. I got this little cough. Then we're going to add some granulated garlic. Yep. We're going to put that in there. Okay. That's about two tablespoons. We'll probably be adding some more seasonings. I got salt here. I'm not going to add a lot of salt because that's better than bouillon. 
and those bouillons had a little salt in them. So about a half a teaspoon of salt. All right. Then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna grab our thyme. What time is it? It's time for time. That's what time it is. We're gonna drop this in there. Yeah. Let's get it all in there. Okay. Then we're gonna come around to this refrigerator because I got one ingredient I don't have out here. And that is my bay leaves. I'm gonna drop a couple of bay leaves in there. As soon as I can get it out of the refrigerator. It's always something, man. There you go. There you go. All right. We're gonna put us a couple of bay leaves in there. Just like that. Okay. And to that, we're going to cover it with some water. And we're going to bring it to a boil. Then we're going to turn it down and let it simmer. Okay. We're going to let this stuff simmer. And uh, I'm probably going to cook it about three hours. I'm going to get it on the stove before I put water in it. Because it can get kind of heavy. Okay, fam, there it is. I got it all covered up with water. What I didn't do, I didn't put my Mrs. My Mrs. Dash in there. So I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit of it in there. I normally use it as a finisher, you know, in case I need some extra little seasoning. So we're just going to go ahead and add it in there just for cause and effect. Okay, and I appreciate you watching. And at this time, since it's going to be a moment, I say a moment, a while before all of this cook, take the time to thank the Lord for your ancestors. Take the time to thank the Lord for your loved ones that are with you today. Take the time to thank the Lord for him. Tell God, thank you for Jesus. Take the time to just look at your wife or your husband and tell them that you love them. I mean, it don't hurt. Tell your kids, hug them up. Get your grandkids and spoil them. That's what I do. I try to spoil mine rotten. But anyway, I digress. But just love one another and come back and watch some more videos of mine, not just this pig feet uh, video. I'll see you in about three hours. Okay, YouTube, we back. It's been about three, I mean, two and a half, three hours. You see that? That's Big Papa's pig feet. Yeah. They ready. Let's see if I can get one of them up out of there without breaking it all up. See that? They tender. Got the right seasoning on them. It ain't how you look in the kitchen. It's how you cook in the kitchen. You ain't got to look good to cook good. So get on in that kitchen. And cook you up some pig feet. <laughs> yeah. Something good to eat. Please like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. Watch all my videos. Tell somebody about Big Poppy. And Happy New Year. <laughs>